Hi, in this video I'm just showing you how to put this seed box together. Look, it's really rather lovely and it's got tapered sides and it's got these little seed envelopes in it. Uh, this one is flowers and each of them has either a little bumblebee or a ladybird on the back. You've got space for writing there and you've got space for writing on the front the name of the seed or the name of the plant in there and then any notes that you want to write on there. And these all fit in this beautiful box. Now in the kit you get four boxes and four seed designs. There is a plain one, there's one for vegetables, there's one for herbs and there's this one which is the flowers one. So this is just a short video to construct the box and put the seed packets together. I'm not going to make all of them, uh, just the one to show you. Uh, but go, he, pop over to Etsy uh, and you can see the full range that you get in the kit. Look, that's gone a little bit off centre while I've been talking to you. Look at that, I'm still wet. I've only just made it. OK, so I've cut out my box shape on 250 gram card. Uh, you'll get away with 200 if you want to. There are also two lovely backing sheets uh, to go with this. There's a beautiful small floral one um, and a plain paper one. And I've completely forgotten to print mine, but I'm not cutting it out again. Uh, this is a, just a little tutorial in case you need uh, some help putting this box together and the seed package be self-explanatory. Uh, and these are I've printed on 120 gram and it's just nice. Uh, so I'm, I'll start with the envelopes and I'm just going to score. Down these black marks or these dark marks that you can see on your printed page and fold the edges in. And that's my tab for the top. I'm going to pop a little bit of glue Whoops. <laughs> on my tabs and let that, go, let that go tacky for a moment. Now the box here, uh, I've cut out the general shape um, and you need to cut down these lines here. on all four. Pieces. There we go. And then I'm going to score all of the black lines that I can see on the page here. And if you want to get rid of these black lines, you can go ahead and do some inking up. I'll explain my reasoning to all these little flaps and tags in a moment when I've gone around all of these edges. There. So I can now reinforce all of those score lines by folding them in quite sharply. Use a folding bone if you want to. There we go. Before putting that together, I'll go back to my little envelope because these will have gone tacky. And I'm just going to fold this back piece, line it up with the edges. And there it is my little seed envelope and you've got a writing space for notes on the back there if you want it and obviously you've got a space there to put the name of the seed in there and there's your little seed envelope looking lovely. Let's come back to this now. Um, now then, I'm going to glue on all of these four large flaps and of course yours will have a beautiful reverse printed backing that I forgot to print on because I was so excited to get on and put this box, this box together. But it's only, it's only a tutorial video. It's not an actual piece that I'm going to gift. Although I, I'm going to make some of these for my mum, who's a keen gardener. 
and we'll be up to her eyes in compost as I speak. So that we've glued those four. I'll give that a moment to go tacky. So now they've gone tacky, I can construct the box. So I'm going to bring this edge up to meet this edge. Make sure it's all nice and flush and square. This side comes up as well. And this is where you'll see why I've made such big flaps for this box. And that's because it completely reinforces this structure. And if you're printing on 250, which I am, uh, you effectively get 500 grams worth of paper in these two sides, of card rather, in these two sides. So it makes it into a nice sturdy box. So bring all your corners up so they're nice and flush. And now we can put some glue on these little tabs here. And these little tabs are quite simply um, to give you a nice folded edge. I don't like a raw edge on a project. If I can possibly avoid it, I'll go that extra mile and give you a nice, a nice finish on a piece. So just glue those little tabs. And then we'll just let mine go tacky for a moment or two. And I can just quite simply pop those down into place like this. There we are. And obviously yours has a nice printed inside as well. Mine doesn't. A bit of ink just to define those nice edges and cover up the fact <laughs> that I've got a little bit of black line showing there. You can pop your seed envelopes inside like that. You've got a lot of room in there, all depending on the size of your seeds, obviously, but you'll pack a lot in there. And then you've got these little gizmos here. You've got a plain one and you've got one with seeds on it. I've cut mine out uh, by hand a little too quickly. So I'm just going to ink up that edge to redefine that shape. Bit of glue on there. And then that can nicely sit in the centre on the top, giving that nice little layer. There. There we go. That's how you put the seed box together. And you get three seed boxes. Uh, no, you don't. You get four seed boxes in the pack. You get flowers, you get herbs, you get vegetables and you get a plain one as well. And the same with the envelopes. So I hope you love that kit. A lovely little gift. Uh, but if you're a gardener, you'll find lots of uses for that. There we go. Have fun. See you next time.